Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about the ever dreaded task of doing your cosplay laundry. In this video, I am going to be showing you some tips and tricks on how to extend the life of your costume with care. Oh, Maytag. This right here is probably the best way that you could do your cosplay laundry if your costume calls for it. Now, on my washer and dryer, I do actually have a hand wash setting right here. And when I do a hand wash setting, I always want to make sure that I do an extra rinse and that I always wash in cold or cool water, which my machine does have the setting for right here. You definitely want to check with whoever makes your costume before you actually throw your costume in the washer and dryer. Some are not made for that. Which brings us to the sink. This is the worst way to do your costume laundry and probably the most dreaded, but I'm gonna show you real quick a couple of methods that will actually help keep your costume looking bright, smelling clean, and um, yeah, let's do it. So I'm basically taking some ivory dish soap, and yes, you did read that and hear that right. I use ivory dish soap this is actually a tip from working at MGM in the costume department for so many years. There is also an ivory snow, which is a little bit more condensed type of dishwash. And either will work just fabulous on your laundry. These can be used with lights and with darks. And then for the fabric softener, I like to use the Ultra Purex. It seems to do the best job and I love the smell. <laughs> the biggest tip that I can say is do not use any harsh detergents or normal detergents on any kind of costume because they do tend to take the color out of them over a period of time. So basically what I do is I take my every dish soap and I just go one, two, yeah, I don't really measure it out. I just kind of put a couple of squirts in the water, call it good, and we'll go ahead and let the sink fill up. Now that the water has risen to the level that you need it at, we are going to go ahead and put our water over in the other sink and put our little stopper in there and we're gonna go ahead and fill the other side the same way. You can use this little cup, but I generally don't do it. I just usually do a one, two, okay, maybe three. I like to just make sure that the water looks a little bit cloudy, like a light blue cloudy color. Uh, you don't want to put too, too, too much in. I would say more than a cap full for your sink is way too much. So I would say it's roughly about a half a cap. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to show you with this cosplay corset. Now, no one's ever worn this. My mannequin doesn't sweat, so it's not dirty, but I wanted to show you this anyway. This is the costume that I get asked most frequently how you wash it the best. So this is how. Yep. 
I just go ahead and I dunk it in the sink and push it down to the bottom to make sure that it sops up enough water and lift and repeat. And I like to turn it around so the inside, like the lining, because like this part right here is where it's going to gather the most sweat and be the dirtiest. So I like to actually put that face down in the water. And then my ding dong butt decided to use a lid because I couldn't find my stopper and I accidentally drained half the water. <laughs> so after we plug that back up and go ahead and fill that sink full of water again. Oh, hand washing laundry, gotta love it. <laughs> So now that our sink is full again, we are going to go ahead and I'll show you what I was trying to show you before. We'll go ahead and take the costume where the lining is face down and we're going to submerge it down into the water and make sure that you're getting it completely submerged. This fabric is a vinyl fabric and it has the cotton lining but it also has uh, like a batting on the inside of it so it is kind of thick. So you can rub the fabric together, what I was just showing you a second ago, or you can keep dunking and raising out of the water like I'm doing right here, which really does help the costume. I would tend to not say you don't really want to scrub your costume or anything like that. What we're going to do is we're actually going to leave this in here for 10 minutes to soak. And after our 10 minutes is up, we're gonna come back through and dunk it a couple more times and give it a good rinse. And I typically like to say um, rinse with cool or cold water. The cool and the cold are because it will generally keep the color in your costumes or your fabric. So then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put it in the fabric softener side and like with this corset, it's, the laces came undone, I would say definitely keep your laces in the corset while you're washing it. Just because some corsets have a little bit more body to them, like the one that I've got, it is actually a very thick corset so I want to just leave laces in there. And then we're going to go ahead and let this soak in the fabric softener for 5 minutes. Now while we're letting that soak, we're going to go ahead and talk about another costume piece. Boot covers. If you have ever ordered a set of boot covers from me, then you will know that these come with instructions on how to wash your boot covers. So what I like to do, first things first, is I go ahead and take the cover off of the shoe. And I like to clean the bottom of the sole of the shoe and then what I'll do is I'll take some Lysol and spray it on the inside of the shoe to keep the funky foot down. <laughs> so then what I'll do is I'll take my boot cover and we'll go ahead and we're going to wash it pretty much the same way that we did with the corset. And we'll just go ahead and throw it in the sink and kind of dunk it through. And typically, depending on how bad the boot cover is, I'll turn it right side out. I'm sorry, inside out, inside out. <laughs> and then we'll go ahead and throw the other one in there. Same thing, we're gonna leave it in here for 10 minutes. And after the five minute slaps is done, we'll go ahead and take the corset out and we're gonna go ahead and rinse the corset really good, making sure that you get the zipper and the Velcro really good. Okay, so I'm going to come back here in my laundry room and I have my corset and what I like to do and call me crazy, but what I like to do is I like to take a towel that's folded over and I will lay the corset out on the towel and then either, um, because this one has a little horn on it. But what I'll do is I'll go ahead and take and roll the towel up over the top of the corset. Like a so. I'm going to put a couple extra towels on there. And then what I'll do is I will walk on it. And what this does 
And you want to be careful when you're doing this, but what this does is it removes all the excess water. As always, doing laundry is always a lot more fun when you have a friend to help you out. Of course, Zan wasn't really much of a help. She didn't even want to step on the wet towel. <laughs> So I'll go ahead and I'll leave the towel on the floor in front of my washer and dryer just in case any water does come off of it that'll hit the towel instead of my floor. And now that the 10 minutes has lapsed for the boot covers, and I'm just going to say this, if you soak your boot covers or any of your costumes longer than 10 minutes, honestly I don't think it's going to hurt it at all. Um, that's just kind of a general rule of thumb that I like to do is 10 minutes and 5 minutes. but. If it does take any longer, then, you know, it's not the end of the world. Do what you do. Anyway, I hope this was a little bit of fun information about laundry. It's definitely good to hear some tips and tricks from the entertainment industry. And yes, we used to do all of our laundry for all of the Cirque shows and everything with MGM when I was working there this exact same way. And I can tell you, there was a lot of costumes that had been around far longer than any of us that were well taken care of this way. So I wanted to pass that on to you. Anyway, if you have any questions, comments, leave them down in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on all other social media and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.